everybody. Uh, I want to welcome you to a brand new show. It's called That FKN Review Show. You know, bit of a pun there right off the hop. Um, so I just want to give you a quick concept introduction before I get to the wonderful guest I have here is much like how I started the round table show, I wanted to start this show because there's a lot of amazing content going around the internet right now for those of us that are just starting to wake up. And like a lot of you already know, I just started the lights just kind of came on for me last September. And, you know, there is so many amazing contributors right now in our, our community and our collective that you tend to skip over things and miss them. And one of the main sources of some of this amazing information, and my guest has done an amazing job at bringing this together as a collective on itself, uh, is the founder and first contributor of the Forbidden Knowledge News Network is Chris Matthew. Don, hey, man, thanks so much for doing this and having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it, it like I was saying, like you have the likes of Stephen from BG Cast, Karen Holt, and, and of course, I, I'm getting wiped right as I'm trying to think of the rest of the names of the rest of the hosts. But like the content of information and research, and like I've recently had a very in depth conversation with Stephen from BG Cast, and just right, the content that these people are putting together and the research and the effort. It is too much to be overlooked. Like my mm. partner, Canadian Spinja, is often like, hey, you should check this out. And because of the position I am in our community right now, it often ends up instead of just watching the person, I'll contact them and like, hey, want to talk about something? And we will. Right. right and that's right exactly happened with me and Stephen from BG Cast. It's what's happened with Karen Holton, yourself. And I have had some pretty in-depth conversations, but. Beyond the ones I've mentioned, did you want to go over really quickly, like each show and the contributor and what what each show is about real quick and the content I'll be going over with everybody? Sure. Yeah. Well, my show is Forbidden Knowledge News. This was the original show. We didn't really start the network until about 2020, 2021, when we just started merging a bunch of our friends and colleagues shows into a promotional website really it's the forbidden knowledge network anchor is a website that features all of the shows but we also have social media pages where we promote each uh each of the shows that comes out and on our website, we link up everyone's podcast. We yeah, we put out clips on our feed to every podcast. It's just a, a way to promote the wonderful work that everybody's doing in this community and everybody that has decided to start a podcast on our podcast provider, uh, the our, our Spreaker account. We have a podcast account where it allows us to host many different podcasts so we decided to turn that into the forbidden knowledge network where we have about nine podcasts now we have of course forbidden knowledge news we've got raised by giants Ryder lee he was one of the first other podcasts that we picked up Ori, my producer, started a couple of different podcasts. Ultimately, it became Bloody History. It used to be Understanding Propaganda. We've got Emily from What the Frick Live. Of course, like you said, Stephen from BG Cast. Emily does a couple of different shows. She also does The Beast System, which is on the network. Got Karen Holton, of course, who does the Quantum Guide show. She has wonderful guests as well, and excellent content for self-improvement and becoming aware during these times as well we feature legit bat podcast although they are not they are the only podcast that is not part of our own provider we have a special deal with them we've been so we've been so close to them and such good friends with them for a very long time that we still feature their stuff. And we do put, we do air a few minutes of some of their episodes, which is a 
kind of equal exchange that we have going on with each other, but they are still part of our network. And we've got Day Zero with Charlie Robinson, Lindsey Sharman, Corey Hughes, X-Cube 420. Those guys get together, sometimes have special guests, and are probably the most controversial show in, on, on the planet. So that's the Forbidden Knowledge Network. And thank you for letting me uh, tell everyone about that. Yeah, absolutely. And I know... Like people have heard me talk about your uh, first documentary, and I know you guys are just trying to get going on the second one. Uh, what is the production status since I have you here? Like, what's the production status on uh, the second documentary? Because I can't wait to watch and talk about that. I might actually do something on this review about the first one, too, because anybody who hasn't seen that is missing out because it's <laughs> so deep. I appreciate that so much, man. Yes, we are starting production on our second film. It's coming along quicker than we thought and will probably be finished a little quicker than we thought. We had some events that we were supposed to be attending at that I was supposed to be presenting at that unfortunately got canceled. So we'll have more time to work on the film this summer. Uh, we are also doing a fundraiser. So if anyone listening would like to help with our fundraiser, you can go to supportfkn.com. That is the easiest way to do it. By any support, you help us get this production going, update our equipment, and we can release it in a timely manner. And anyone right now that donates $100 or more, you get a guest spot on Forbidden Knowledge News. You get your name in the credits of the upcoming film. You get downloads of both films, and you get a copy of Corey's book, A Warning from History. So we appreciate anyone that helps us out there. The second film is going to be about the, it's going to be titled Doorways of Perception. It's going to be covering near death experiences, life after death, altered states, shamanic and psychedelic experiences, dream states, waking synchronicities, contact experiences, and how these really are part of the same phenomena that form our human experience. So we're in the middle of interviews right now. We've got a little bit more on-site footage to do in a couple of months, and we we'll sh should hopefully be wrapping up by October. That's really cool. And I, like I said, I can't wait because I love all these. Like, when I woke up, I, I was just like, I have to know about all of this. Like, I, like you and I talked about on your show, like, I kind of got stuck in the super soldier thing for a minute, and I'm glad I didn't because, like, it's allowed me the opportunity to want to look at everything. Like if this is real, then this is real. Then this is real. It's, it's just all in different densities, realities, whichever way you want to split the hairs. Right. And some of the stuff that I am becoming aware of, I would not be a 10th of the way where I am without shows like yours, like documentaries, like, Hey, what is this? What does like, and that's what I love to do in these reviews is like, Okay, here's what I watched. This was what it was about, but this is what it made me think about too, right? Mm. Because like um, the one day Stephen and I had like a back and forth over Facebook chat that was like, oh yeah, well this is the way this works in reality. Well, oh yeah, well guess what? Like it, it was, it, it felt like we were on the school ground telling each other the secrets of life, and I think that's where we are at this stage right now. Is like it doesn't matter your indoctrination level. If you're due to have the information that you're meant to and share it, that's where we are right now because everything is coming in divinely where it's supposed to be. And that's why I felt guided to like, Hey, maybe everybody should know like what this made me think about to see what it makes them think about. Mm. Right. Yeah. You said something I think that's very important to take in for people right now that are looking into different realms of the truth and conspiracy and spiritual communities is to be careful how deep you go into any certain topic. Like yourself, whenever I first started, I went deep into Planet X and the Anunnaki, and I was ready for the end of the world for a little while until I just realized that there was so much more out there. And by binding myself in this little space that I was missing out on the real important things. And of course, I've come to realize that those things aren't even as I used to as I used to think I understood them. 
and has been the problem, I believe, with humanity for such a long time as we've been kept in this box, mainly through religious dogma for centuries, that kept us from exploring these outside concepts and growing as a as a human species and our and having our consciousness evolve. And I think you're right that this this era, whatever time period we're in right now, is very special. And that is what's happening. We're breaking out of those boxes that that we've kept ourselves in and we're exploring these other concepts and becoming aware that there's so much more. And like I said, those polarities, these, these deep topics, these deep conspiracies that people can get sucked into, they are great for providing baseline information on a lot of this stuff. And you have to be careful, especially now that like we talked about the other day when you were on my show about the kind of infiltration of these waters. But it, it it's it's exactly this this period of time is exactly where each and every one of us need to be. It's where we are. It's it's we are where we're supposed to be in each and every one of our journeys right now. And some of us are you know, at a, at a graduation type level for a certain experience, but there, I don't think there's ever a graduation as long as we're in this human experience. There's just a new layer of reality to peel through that, to become aware of basically. Oh, I absolutely agree. And it's interesting. Like the recent perceptions I've gained on reality. And I was telling you a little bit about this before we started where like, I'm, coming back with things with, where people are having to take shamanistic journeys and all I've done is taken a nap, right? Mm. Like I, I woke up and remembered that like in eighth grade, they basically taught us about everything we needed to know about a frequency fence around the planet. Yeah. It's called the ionosphere. What they didn't teach us is it's not just radio waves that bounce off of that thing. Each one of our low density emotions has a frequency. Now, up until a certain density of frequency will not escape the ionosphere. So we're constantly like being covered by the low density frequency emotions of everybody else on the planet. It's not until we realize that when we get that ultra high frequency attachment to source or whatever you need to call it is when we can start getting some actual mental clarity about what's going on around us. Mm -hmm. And it, it is a crazy mixed up matrix system where we're all just conscious compressed atom like atoms that are aware of things that like i can't magnetically pass through this couch because we're not the same frequency right so mm -hmm. when you break it down to the ridiculous it, it really is a time where we can become aware of anything yeah when you have pure intention and childlike curiosity i'd say the universe will provide answers for your questions. It it has for me in the strangest ways, and it's led me on the strangest path, but I would ask for these things, and it wouldn't always come instantaneously. It wouldn't always come in the way I'd expect, but m my questions would eventually be answered in some way or another, and I think that's something that we all have to tap into is if we want to know something, just ask for it. Just be curious and begin your exploration into it all you have to do but to start that is seriously just ask the universe for answers and they will come whether in a dream whether you're in a daydream whether you're driving down the street and thinking about things and you have what's called the download anything like that altered states the, this information is coming through for people that desire it right now that's absolutely right and like um, I like I was saying, I had a weird conversation that just got really in depth with Steven, but it was like a mental connection. Like we were on the same frequency. The channel was set right that day. And it, it was just insane because we were like, OK, we absolutely understand each other. And it was like I could see what he was explaining and he could see what I was explaining. And that has to be part of some wonderful collective consciousness. And mm. like. Even the ideas that all of these shows, I'm going to wrap it back to the network, all of these shows inspire ideas in people like beings like me that are becoming online. And the network that you have put together is an absolutely phenomenal resource. And that's why it, I think it just needs one more little bit of like 
out there because I know you guys are predominantly on Rumble. I'm going to keep this clean enough that I can toast it onto YouTube. Oh, right? right on. So you guys go over to Rumble and check this out because it 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 gets shadow banned a lot, I think, because, you know, I just watched my own numbers on YouTube. Uh, my views roll back by 600. So, like, it, it's a little ridiculous when you start telling the truth. So absolutely go over to Rumble because it's kind of where it's at. Yeah, th that's the only unfortunate part of the era we're in is the forces that do not want this information out because it doesn't benefit them. They lose power because of our awakening. And we all know who these people are and they're doing anything and everything they can to prevent this awakening from happening. And, but now they are relying on algorithms to do that for them. The algorithm dictates the censorship. It listens for key phrases that you and I will be discussing and it'll, dictate whether people will hear it or not or see it or not and that's the unfortunate state of our broadcasting right now so it's it's an uphill battle but if i for me i just never gave up consistency is the key they want you to give up but if you keep putting out that energy that you're going to do it and this is where you're supposed to be and you know it and feel it it's going to propel you no matter what there's no stopping where you're supposed to be, not even the grimiest of grimy lizard people out there trying to prevent this awakening from happening. So, yeah, that's a, a very important part to to all of this, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I think you just hit it right on the head in a beautiful spot to wrap this up because this is really just for a promo to give everybody an idea of what we're going to be doing. but you just kind of blew my mind. Like my morning has just been crazy. Like I was telling you <laughs> before this, I was with uh, Dr. Kimberly McGeorge for like 90 minutes of, Oh my God, my head hurts. Um, and now like, I, I just, this is the exact advertisement. This sort of content needs. Like I've been listening to us talk for 20 minutes and I'm outside of myself in my own mind. And mm. it, it's this inspired information that needs to get out into our community. So again, I love it, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. Nothing but love for you and FKN. I'm going to uh, go over to your website and get the links for everybody, or you can send it to me and I'll include yeah. it in the description of this when I upload it to YouTube today. Um, and thank you so much for the opportunity to do this because like, this is your baby and you're allowing me to kind of put my pinky toe in and go, Hey guys, check out this wonderful thing that, some people don't get to see because you're only on the boob tube. So right thank on. you so much. Well, thank you so much, Don. And you can easily check out all the podcasts right now. Just go to forbidden knowledge dot news. That's our website. We have a menu bar with all the network shows on there. So you can go check those out. Awesome. I will include that in the description and thank you so much for watching and see you soon with my first review of as much as I can.